just noticed you my queen You looking like some buttercream You know exactly what I need Hot cocoa sweet So I have already gone through most of my, um, no, I've, I've gone through everything at this point, but I realized that I was rambling too much. This is the third time that I'm recording this. I realized that I was rambling too much, so we're going to do that again. So let's go i'm really not sure if this is something that like living abroad specifically has taught me or if it's just like living has taught me <laughs> um but this is a common saying there are two types of people um someone who is meant to learn from you and someone who is meant to teach you this is something that i like knew about but I didn't fully understand until I like lived life so I used to struggle a lot with like getting rid of people <laughs> I feel like and like um not really and kind of just saying like oh yeah everyone is a friend kind of thing even though I'm not super close with like most of the people that I've I've met in my life and that's just a general thing that's a me issue honestly but I would still like keep people in my life where like actively or try really hard not to let people leave my life, which was not a good thing for me to do um, for both of us. And I feel like the people who have left were the ones who like were meant to be in my life to teach me that I need to let go. So, yeah. So my zodiac sign is a yin wood pig which I did not know this until I researched it, but apparently the zodiac, the zodiac signs um, have specific years for um, elements. So the five elements, fire, wood, water, earth, and metal. Um, I am a wood pig, and then it further um, breaks down into yin and yang signs so i am a yin wood pig um i read up on this i don't think i i don't think my personality matches <laughs> with this fully um if at all um but also like i wouldn't imagine that an entire year's worth of people would have the same personality anyways so yeah um astrological sign i'm an aries and i do not come off as an aries to most people which i find very funny because apparently the sun sign which is the sign that everyone goes off of um that sign is specifically supposed to be the way that you are perceived by others and most people in my life who have believed in ast in ast <laughs> astrology in astrology um have told me that i do not act like an aries so i don't wish i had more time for anything <laughs> i have a lot of time the thing that i wish i had more of was self-discipline um and i'm just not gonna say anything else that's that's what i wish i had more of was self-discipline five years from now what do you want to be doing or what do you where do you see yourself um hopefully i'll be finishing my first year of veterinary school um the plan is to start pre-veterinary school in korea in 2022 um i have reasons for wanting to study in korea if you guys want to know what those are i can always um, answer those in a separate video because i don't want to ramble uh but yeah hopefully i'll be not finishing pre-veterinary school but finishing my first year of veterinary school which is where I would get my um master's degree as a veterinarian um yeah I don't know who you think I am 
I'm gonna be nice. Look, I don't have a favorite author. The reason I don't have a favorite author is because I'm pretty sure the prerequisite to having a favorite author would be that I am someone who reads. I would have to read something to have a favorite author and therefore I have no favorite author. Because guess what? I don't read. One bucket list item. I really want to learn how to swim. This sounds so stupid, but I really want to learn how to swim. It was something I was supposed to do when I went to college and then I didn't, I messed things up for myself. I, I messed up the whole timeline for my, for like my goals. And I really was not able to take a swimming class um, at all during college. So it's still, it's still the item on the list. What is your self-care item you can't live without? Smelly good things. I really like, <laughs> I really, really like um, anything that smells good. Um, so I started buying incense, I want to say last year or the year before, and then I switched to candles more recently. <laughs> I started filming because it's easier to film and have my mother look at videos of me online than to call her. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I've, I've been met with the whole, like, wouldn't it just be easier to call her and talk to her than to, like, film a video, edit it, and then upload it? Honestly, no, because whether I am the one calling her or she is the one calling me, we, I swear we only do it just to say that it has been done because when we're on the phone, neither of us have anything to say. Um, like 80% of the time, that is the case. And even if my mom has something to say, some of the time she just won't say it because I haven't said anything and she'll think that I don't want to talk to her and that's not the case. I'm gonna start ranting and I don't want to do that. But anyways, I started filming because I wanted to give my mom an insight into like how I'm living life. Favorite Christmas film? The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the one with Jim Carrey, not the animated 2018 one. Um, <coughs> I actually love everything with Jim Carrey, so... <laughs> um, the But The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, I feel like is a very... Because it was made in 2000, um, I was like five when it came out so I feel like it's just so nostalgic that I can't get over how much I love it. Best thing about living abroad and one thing you wish was better. Um, best thing which I haven't really delved that much into be since I've been here would be like the ability to travel um, which is something I really wanted to start in 2020 for obvious reasons I wasn't able to do much of it but I was at least able to go to the Philippines Cebu um, in February um, before like the lockdown and everything <laughs> um, <laughs> I would I would change my job <laughs> which is something I guess I'm working on but I don't know I think it's just the fact that I as much as I I do love teaching for one it doesn't match my personality um, as much as I thought it did um, when I first came here is one thing and then the other thing is I feel like I would come back to teaching later on in life but for right now where I'm at and what I want out of my youth I guess is different and is not attainable by being a teacher. Santa baby hands down I've loved this song since I was in like ninth grade. Sweet potato pie. Um, there was a moment in time when I didn't know that other people didn't know about sweet potato pie, but sweet potato pie is a thing. It looks a lot like pumpkin pie, but it definitely tastes 
different. <laughs> um, if you've never had it, you should try it. Um, and yeah, I really like sweet potato bite. <laughs> a dog, a monkey, a one room, just like hut, electricity. The electricity is only because of the fifth item, which would be music. <laughs> I cannot live without music. Um, I can totally live without other people, but I cannot live without music. Um, and I would need some type of companionship, which is why I would require a dog and a monkey. 